I've been mining three coins in parallel on a single PC for the last eight months. I'm quite happy with the efficiency of this setup and how stable it has been. In fact, I was away for the last four and a half months and when I got back, it was working all the same, except for the ton of dust I had to clean off. Enough hype, let's take a look at what was working for me. I didn't build a mining rig or anything, I just ordered a custom PC suitable for video editing. There's a good chance you might have a similar one lying around. So here are the specs of mine. It's AMD Ryzen 5 6 core CPU, an NVIDIA RTX 3070 GPU before the light has version, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 1 terabytes of SSD and 10 terabytes of hard disk space. Like any greedy, geeky human, I started mining Ethereum on this setup. You know, when it's not being used for video editing. This is what most miners would do with a spec like this. But that only keeps the GPU occupied. Naturally, the question has to be asked, what can we do to keep the rest of the resources busy at the same time? Before talking about the efficiency aspect of my setup, a quick curveball on how mining works. Mining is basically a game of lottery. The game starts when the last block was produced and ends when the next block is produced. Within this time, we use our resources to guess a winning number. A winning number is anything that satisfies a mathematical equation. Still with me? I'm very close to making my point, I promise. There are many blockchains that use mining today. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, etc. But the lottery equation is different for each of them. The differences lie in the cryptographic hash function they use. To maximize your chance of winning the lottery and to do so profitably, you should pick the right hardware for the coin you are mining or inversely, pick the right coin for the hardware you have. I picked Ethereum for my GPU because that's efficient. Now, to keep the CPU busy at the same time, I picked Monero a privacy coin that is more efficient on a CPU. That's because the random X algorithm it uses is designed to work better on a CPU than a GPU. I allocated about 80 to 90% of my CPU capacity to mine Monero. That's because even though Ethereum mining happens on the GPU, we still need a couple of CPU cycles to perform other tasks. Good. Now we have both CPU and GPU flexing and making us some geek money. If we revisit the specs, we can notice that I also have a ton of storage, most of which is currently unused because I didn't make many videos yet. We can actually mine with that too. You can find out how right after this quick word from our sponsor. Me, I love making these videos and to keep doing this sustainably, I need your help. I'm not asking for money here, but if you find this helpful, like, share, comment and all that jazz. I'll live for the attention. Now, back to mining with storage space. There are coins like Burst and Chia that hope to make mining more energy efficient. Let me oversimplify what they do. Mining takes a lot of energy because you attempt to solve for a winning number all the time. And when you find one, you start the process all over again. With the storage mining coins, we pre-compute a bunch of solutions, basically tickets for our lottery, and store them. Now, the more memory you have, the more tickets you can store, and thus increase your chances of winning a round. When you're mining, you just look up for a close match among the solutions you have stored. More importantly, you can reuse all these tickets for the next round something you can't do with traditional mining. Among all the storage coins, I picked Chia because that's more profitable right now. It took me a whole week to generate about 10 terabytes worth of solutions or tickets as I call it. This happens on the CPU. So my Monero mining was working at a reduced capacity during this time. When all is said and done, this is what I have. My GPU mining Ethereum, CPU mining Monero and unused storage space mining Chia. 
With all these coins, I joined mining pools instead of solo mining. It is very important that you mine with a pool and not by yourself. Because in each round of mining, there's only one winner. And your chance of winning are proportional to how powerful your hardware is compared to the combined power of all the other miners. For example, my GPU was doing an average of 60 mega hashes per second. That's like checking 60 million tickets for a chance to win the lottery. And the Ethereum network as a whole is running at 950 tera hashes per second. That's 950 trillion tickets per second. So if I mind alone, my chance of winning around are infinitesimally small. It's like 1 in 74 million small. For reference, your chances of winning the Euro million jackpot are not too far from this. However, when you join a mining pool, we can pool the tickets from everyone in the pool. This gives greater odds for the pool. And when the pool wins, the rewards are distributed proportional to the hash power you contributed to the pool. The pool I joined is Ethermine. It was doing about 290 tera hashes per second. That's about 30% chance of winning each round. I say again, this is important because if you don't win, you don't get paid. You can solo mine for years on end without ever winning once. I also want to show you how to set up your PC to mine each of these three coins by joining mining pools. But in the interest of making more videos and also keeping each of them short, I decided to do a separate video for each setup. They're independent of each other, so you can do all of them if you wish and run them in parallel like me. Before you run off, there's more. Most of us also have a high bandwidth internet connection. So naturally, I look to see if we can mine with the available internet bandwidth. Since I'm still talking, the answer is yes. However, it's a good news, bad news kind of situation here. The good news is that there is a blockchain called Helium, which uses hotspots for mining. And the bad news is you have to buy a custom hardware to mine using hotspots. They use an innovative proof of work model called proof of coverage. Basically, you improve the wireless coverage using their miners and get rewarded in HNT tokens for doing so. I didn't do this myself because back in June of 2021, when I first discovered this project, the hardware was out of stock. However, I thought it was a cool idea though. All these innovative approaches to run blockchains are very interesting to look at. I'm super excited about the possibilities in this space. If you want to hear about more cool things, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.